I put very little pressure on that and the whole thing just snapped. Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms and today we're gonna replace the water line from the city's meter into the house. This is my daughter's house and a couple weeks ago they noticed that their water bill went crazy and it's getting worse and worse and we've isolated by shutting off everything inside the house right where it comes into the house. We put a, a ball valve right where it comes in the house and we know no water is being used inside but the meter is saying four gallons per minute. So we know for a fact that it's, it's right here in this stretch to the corner of the house. We've already had 811 come out and mark all the utilities. Now it's a matter of finding a connection point here at the meter where we can break it loose. And my theory on this is we've got a really old line and it's most likely, you know, a metal line that's going to be hard to work with that, that kind of pipe. And I don't want to try to repair that and find a leak throughout it or anything like that. If we can make a connection here and a connection at the other end, I'm just going to bypass the whole thing and run a single shot of brand new PEX, you know, two feet over from the existing line. So that's the plan. The real challenge is finding our connection points at both ends. We've already got it at one end. I'll take you and show you that real quick. So on this end, we knew where the water came in the house and we took a measurement from the top of the foundation down and from the corner of the house in. We found it right here. It's only eight inches below ground on this little box, which isn't ideal, but we can build dirt up over this and all the rest of it should be buried deep enough because ground level for the rest of the property is up here. What we've got to right here looks kind of like black pecs, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, my dad was telling me that this is uh, more of an older product that's not in use anymore. Uh, we'll either connect to it right here, or actually we'll probably cut it off right here, cut it on the inside and pull that through and put our pecs directly in. I don't think there's actually a need to have a connection out here. So the hardest part will be getting our pecs under this concrete. And I don't have a plan for that yet, but I guess I don't need a plan for that yet. I'm guessing the way these are set up is fairly standard, but if not, the way they're done here is this concrete circle dropped in the ground. Your meter's in the middle of it. Your water line usually comes through the side of that concrete. And right now we're trying to find where it comes through the side. It's kind of got dirt filled in and above that connection point. If we can find that spot, we can take a measurement and know exactly how deep we can go with the backhoe and do less digging Less amount of digging we do, the better in my mind. Okay, so right here, we have a hose clamp connection to this black stuff, and we're wanting to replace 100% of the black stuff. So really, we could cut this off or anything else. We just need to get it freed up, get it taken off right here. And I'm gonna see if we can take this joint apart right here, pull this whole thing out, put it back together with a new elbow that we want to come through here, and then just screw that back on. This works. Oh yeah, this is not old because it's a new meter. Yeah, I would adjust. Take that off, might have a little bit of residual, but that line should be empty. Okay, disconnected. And then, oh, that line's not too far down. Mm -mm. So I'm thinking we cut this off down here and we get a new elbow in right there that hooks to the PVC. Yeah. It looks like we can't quite see where it elbows, but I don't think they put an elbow on. I think it's just a, a bend of that soft pipe. But we know we need to go at least 18 inches. Go 
Okay, this came right off the meter, and this is what was under it. This flexible pipe right here, which bends about that easy, is what runs all the way to the house and is leaking. Looks a little bit like PEX, but it's a lot thinner wall, and to cut it was like butter. I just went like that with a regular, I didn't bring a cutoff tool, all they had was a kitchen knife, and it was like two pushes across it, and it was cut. So all I've got to do probably is get this fitting out right here of this, then get a fitting that goes into this that will run my three quarter pecs. And we can run this all the way to the house, turn the water on, make sure we don't have any problems. And then we just dig a trench and bury it. Okay, I want to run all this in three quarter inch pecs, which is pretty expensive. But luckily I redid this, my other daughter's, I redid her entire house with pecs and I've got a bunch. So. Hopefully, what I have is long enough to reach all the way in one continuous piece without any connections. So we'll stretch it out here and see if we've got enough. Okay, we've got more than enough pecs, so we just got to get that apart and figure out what kind of fitting we need for each end. Okay, so we just got back from the hardware store. It feels like we got all the fittings that we need to get this set up and working. So right now, before we worry about that, I'm just going to start digging the trench while well, we still got some daylight. This is the pipe that we took off before. It'll go back on the same way. And with this elbow and this PEX fitting, we'll be able to connect right to this, go through the sidewall of the concrete and run all the way into the house. It's busted. And so on a Saturday afternoon, the city gets to come out here I feel bad, but I put very little pressure on that and the whole thing just snapped. Awesome job got by the city. That broke about 6.30 on a Saturday evening. And at 7.30, we are back up and going. So we might still be able to get this hooked up tonight, but I won't get the trench all filled in.
So for tonight, we're just going to lay this in here and get the water hooked up. So if they want to take baths or anything tonight, showers, do some laundry, they can do that. I'll come back tomorrow and finish the job out. So what we've got is our pipe laid in here. All of this, I'm going to rip all this out and redo all this, but not tonight. So what we're going to do, bring the water line in here and through there with that piece of pipe to protect it. And then we'll fill dirt all the way down here and up these steps. We just pull this out. This is all junk and we're gonna cut it. We're gonna cut this off right here. Our new line will come under these stairs right into the house. Okay, let me know when it's turned on. And this is currently not leaking. Let me go turn water on in the sink. So now we just need to make sure all the faucets are off. Are there, is it reading now? I really felt bad that that pipe broke out and the city had to come out here on the weekend. I hope those guys get really good pay for call in on the weekend. Um, but I mean, if you saw how corroded that was, I put very little pressure on that fitting and the whole pipe just snapped off and it, it was, it was going to go at some point. So they'll come back out on Monday and they'll put the enclosure that goes around the meter and I'll come back either tomorrow or Monday, get all this filled back in and graded out. Overall, it kind of looks sloppy the way we routed that under the step, but the amount of work it would have taken to go under the driveway would have been overkill. And we only have an 18 inch frost line here uh, does our winters are not that harsh so it's it's literally the meters are only set to 18 inches the line where that's all open is less than that in the winter and so i think we'll be fine we just need to cover that exposed line at that end otherwise i feel pretty good about it i appreciate you taking time to watch this video i'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and i'll see you next time